Hey, what's up guys? Today, we're doing something a bit different. Um, sorry for the background noise, and uh, I tried to stay as silent as I could, as, si as silent as possible. So, um, yeah, that's that during the gameplay. I tried to stay as silent as possible. I tried also to set my mic to be muted. And, um, I apologize for the laggy gameplay. So, um, let's get just, let's just get on with this video. Today we are doing the Brandy Wine Rant. I was going to, um, title this the Brandy Weed Rant, but I didn't want to sound like a, um, alcoholic pothead. So, um, let's, let's just get on with it. Bleh, can't even speak. Let's get on with this. I have a script and everything. I'm trying to be as professional as possible, and yeah. So let me just start this off by saying I like my school. I like my school setting. But there are some things I would just love to change right off right off the bat. So um, first thing I have to uh, talk about right now is the thirty seventy grading system. It's um, we're, we're do this year the whole school district is doing a grading system that favors tests over the bulk of work done in class. So if your teachers hands you something like a project and only gives you two days to do like a huge ass project she expects you to be done that project in two days and it's worth 70 percent of your grade do you think that's fair when you're doing i don't know 100 percent of the classwork i'm just giving an example here I'm not calling out names not calling my english teacher's name out at all what are you, what are you talking about but um my point is the fact that um you can't just take one thing to fuck up someone's whole grade. The pros of it, though, the pros and cons are, like, tests can improve your grade a lot. That is one good thing, because let's say you don't do very well on your classwork, you do amazing on your test work, you'll be done, and you'll be passing everything. But, um, the other pro is less work is needed for a good grade. Oh. I like that, but at the same time, one bad test grade can kill your GPA. One bad one can kill your GPA. Alright, so, um, the cons, you know, you, you, ha you have a fuck ton of work can be done, your grade stays the same, it's stressful as shit. No students like the grading system. I just think it's stupid. I really think it's stupid. And some of the teachers, like my culinary teacher, not naming names, um, I'm gonna say it a lot during this recording session, not naming names, but um, I'm just gonna say this, I'm not naming names. So my teacher does barely knows how it works. Like she'll say something's formative, say something's summative, It'll be like the opposite, or some things will be summative, but basically the exact same thing repeated would be a formative. It's kind of dumb, really. But, um, it's complicated, but, um, the next, the next thing I just need to fix with that is maybe getting a new grading policy. Maybe 60-40 instead of 70-30. Because it needs to be evened out by your summative grades. I'm okay with summative being a little bit better than formative. Or a little bit more superior to formative. Because your test grades should be a lot. Like, they should be worth it a lot. I don't like to study a lot. But at the same time, they should be, I guess, counted for, basically. Because it used to be... 30% of your grade was test grades. I did not like that either because I used to do amazing on tests and barely do any schoolwork. So you can see you can see where I got off on that. Like I didn't like it that much. Um, but I'm glad they they're trying to change it up. But right now it's not the best solution. Maybe a 50/50 would work because you know maybe it wouldn't be so bad. Maybe it would push students to. Uh, Hey, try hard, do your schoolwork, because formative summative isn't doing that for us. So, yeah. Okay, well, I just broke my headset. Um, <laughs> um, kind of salty about that, but, um, yeah. I gotta pick up where I left off. 
our next point is oblivious and VG staff. Let's um let's just go over this. Just main points real quick. This girl gives hand jobs in class, not naming names. She knows who she is. If she watches this video, she's going to get mad. I'm not putting anyone on blast. I'm just saying, stop giving hand jobs in class. Um, she once said, does it count if the guy finished? I said, yes. Yes, it does. Uh, uh, she said, it does it count if the guy didn't finish? I said, yes, it does. It's still a hand job in class. So, um, yeah, that's that. Students can almost get away with anything, always. That's, ju that's just a prime example. She got away with that, didn't she? Then there's um, an example of kids vaping in class. There's a kid that vaped in class the other fourth period. This is what wanted me to make a video about this. He sits there vaping in class, and there's a whole fucking cloud. Please tell me the teachers saw this. How they didn't see it, how they didn't write this kid up, or get him suspended is beyond me. I have no problem with him vaping. I'm just saying the teachers are fucking oblivious. Um, then um, stealing shit. That same kid that was vaping stole this girl's earbuds um, and got got away with it. Yeah. <laughs> I think she even br brought it up to the co-ed teacher. Yes, we were in co-ed. I had a doctor and a co-ed teacher both in the room and I don't know how either of them did not notice hey that kid's fucking vaping there's a huge ass cloud in the fucking room but um that's that so he stole shit and then a couple months back I believe it was before winter break I had a gold watch and I wore it to school and this kid stole it Seriously. only for a brief second though because I got it back but I screamed at the kid, and the, and the teacher did not give a shit about him stealing it. He just, she just gave a shit about me screaming at him. So yeah, now on to the bitchy teachers. Teachers jump on you for no reason at all, or for the wrong reason. Just like I said with the situation where the kid stole my watch, um, the, the teacher freaked out on me instead of that kid. Um, so then there's other teachers like um you can be doing nothing at all or you can be like briefly talking and talking is allowed and they'll either jump in your conversation jump on you for bullshit or you know like fucking just get in your get in your business you know now some teachers i have no problem with getting and getting in your business if they're nice about it um like my civics teacher and my fifth well my old fifth period teacher who was a seminar teacher. I liked him. He loved them actually. He may have been a Bills fan, but um that's besides the point. I hate tables too, you know. But um Yeah, that's that. Um So that that that's that's just page number 1. Page numero 2. Let me just start this off by saying I have no problem with what you do on your free time. And I have no problem with kids smoking pot. Pot is fine. Um, so this is, this is on drug use, alright? My dad said, oh, it's the best school in the district. I said, no, the fuck it isn't. I said, there are kids smoking weed in the hallways, in the bathrooms, the whole hallway. All the hallways smell like... Always smells bad, either smell like weed, doesn't smell bad, but um, either that, that it smells like weed or it just, just fucking reeks of something. Kids being high as shit in class, kids rolling up weed on the bus, shit you the fuck not, kids rolling up on the bus, kids drinking in front of teachers, now, now, teachers don't always notice this. Again, oblivious ass staff. But I'll, I'll give you an example of um, a kid brings a vodka bottle, like a little bit, little bitty, itty bitty vodka bottle to class. Itty bitty vodka, um, like not th not that much. It's about two ounces, and puts it in a water bottle and just starts drinking it straight up. Starts like bring little little itty bits of alcohol to to school, like shots basically. Teachers didn't notice that either. 
um, kids being drunk as shit in class. Open dealers. I think that should explain itself, but, you know, it doesn't. So, kids being like, yeah, I sell weed and teachers not caring. Um, most of this has to do with my school instead of the school district, but does it look like I give a shit? So, um, has to do with, um, oh, teachers smoking in school. Okay. Teachers in school that smoke. Okay. There is a social studies or civics teacher that smokes in class. Now, or not smokes in class, smokes and is open about it basically to other students. And um, I smelled weed in her classroom, so she probably takes it to school. Now, that was at detention. That was at detention, and um, shouldn't have been there, but I smelled it. Then there are teachers not caring. Teachers, like, not giving two shits about what the fuck you do in class, in school, whatever. So, um, that's that. Like, you can smell weed in a lot of classrooms. It's like, did this teacher really just roll up in class? But, um, yeah. So, brandy weed. Then there's weapons in school. Now... I'm not saying pat down every student that walks into the school. I'm j just saying, hey, why the fuck are there students walking around with, you know, pocket knives and straps in their backpacks and stuff like that? And, and, and drugs in school, too. Like, kids walking around with corner camping. Corner camping breakfast. Fuck. Yeah, I wanted you guys to hear that. Anyways, um... He's walking around with like straps and, and shit and knives in, in their backpack and, and pockets. And I have a friend who does that. I'm like, yo, calm the fuck down. No one's gonna mug you in school. Um, <laughs> so he needs to calm down with that. My, my guy, um, you need to calm down. You know who you are. I'm not gonna name any names because I'm not like that. I'm not gonna, you know, like rat someone out on the internet because I'm not like that. I don't know how this guy survived here. I do not know, because this kid shot him like five different times with the same fucking gun. Keeps catching up, watch, watch, just watch this shit. It's just insane. How the fuck did this kid survive? Fucking Marshall 16s. Up the ass. Yep, see, right there. This just sprints away. <laughs> I just love that so much, bro. It's just too funny, like, we eventually do get the W right here. He gets killed here, but he's fucking oblivious. Look at his ass. And that's why we got the W. So, that's that. Um, Back to what I was talking to. Weapons in school. Weapons. In a school environment. Now, I'm, again, oblivious ass teachers. When you pull them right in front of a teacher, they don't see shit. But here is another thing with Brandy Lyon. Let me just look into my my um my script. Bullying is a re reoccurring problem. I do not know how many times a student bothers me each day. It's just getting annoying. Like how do I explain this? You ever been like just bothered, straight bothered, all day, every day. Just straight up bothered. Yeah. It's kind of like that, except it's like, kids tell their friends, and then they tell their friends, and then they tell their friends, and then no one likes you for one stupid ass mistake, or something you didn't even do. Just like, I'm naming names now, this girl, Emily, I'm friends with, I used to date, um, Apparently, people are saying some chick named Megan spread around the school that I'm calling her a whore. Now, first off, I don't know this Megan chick. Um, bleh, I don't know this Megan bitch. I was going to say Megan chick, but she's a bitch. I don't know who the fuck she is. And now she's spreading rumors about me. Don't know, this, don't know this Megan bitch. And now she's telling people that I'm calling Emily a whore. So, um, I have five people in my DMs like, hey, why the fuck are you calling Emily a whore? Why the fuck are you calling Emily a whore? Emily did nothing to you. Get the fuck out of here, you low-life bitch. Shit like that. It's just kind of annoying. 
So I'm tired of that bullshit. So miss me with that bullshit. So that's that's another thing. Uh, rumors, gossip. That's in every high school, but in Brandywine, it's it's really, really, really bad. Honestly, right here, I made the bad decision to rush, and this kid had a fucking brekkie. Why are you using a brecky? The game's two fucking years old. Please. Stop. It's fucking cancer on this thing. God, bro. Just doesn't even have rapid fire. I don't know how I died to that. So, um, that's that. Thank you guys for watching. Um, I'm gonna try and upload every Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, or Wednesday. Never on a Thursday, Friday, or Saturday. That's when I go live. So, new upload schedule. Check that out. Um, I do guys do want you guys to watch the rest of this video because it is, it is, kind of good gameplay. Kind of the beginning, I I was trash. I hate this fucking nade. Watch, Kobe, pop, dead. Fucking, I hate I hate people with like that with concussions. I'm gonna start being that person though. Oh God, why am I yawning? So, um, yeah, sorry for this shitty scripted video. Um, my headset is now broken, thanks to you guys. I could be just playing COD or playing Fortnite and this shit wouldn't have happened, but since I was uploading a video and my mom called me for something, I bent back my headset too far and the plastic broke in it. Why are you so fucking cheaply, cheaply made Arctic headsets? I'm sorry, I'm not going to go off on my headset brand. And they make really good headsets. Like, I, I don't even have my volume cranked up all the way and I can hear my, my music from upstairs. I shit you the fuck not. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna go play some COD more often, because I need to, you know, why not? <laughs> it's fun to play, so, um, yeah, enjoy the rest of this gameplay, my guys. So, um, check this out, the last minute and 15 seconds of it. I did good for the rest of this, I went 3 and 5. Um, yeah, I just had to get back in my groove. I believe this was my third or fourth game back on. So... There you go. Thank you for watching, my guys. Extended mission time. Protect the